Here we have it. Boon alert cooked with one of our cockerels, dressed with coriander and red chilli. So in a pan we want to put some oil, about that much, just enough to cover the bottom, two bay leaves and a cinnamon stick. Okay so the bay leaves are starting to pop because they're fresh, I've just pulled them off the tree. So I'm going to pop in the all the onion. And while the onion is browning, I'm going to chop up the chicken. Now today is a special day because today's chicken is from one of our chickens. Or to be more precise, it is a cockerel or a rooster, depending on where, what part of the world we're from. So the onions are browning. And I think the best way to do this is to put all your spices on a plate. So you need half a teaspoon of turmeric. Half a teaspoon of cumin. And as much chilli as you want. But the chilli is the only thing that makes it hot. And if mine is too hot my kids complain. So I'm only putting a tiny bit on. And a whole teaspoon of coriander, a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ginger, no uh, garlic, sorry, and two teaspoons of ginger. So I'll do my best to show you this bit. The onions are browned. This bit gets really hot and steamy when I put the spices in. So there's the spice mix. They just all go in. And the top tip for this bit is having water. Just, so you can put a dribble in every time it catches. So when you put the spices in, you really do get an intense of aromas. Now, if you look in there, I try not to steam the steam the lens up. We've got it's, they're just about ready. The onions breaking down. As you move it apart, the oil's separated. So now the spices are cooked. It's time to pop the meat in. If you have a look, I've got breast and dark meat. I believe this is probably going to be the best chicken I've ever cooked with because I know. There's zero food miles. I know what it's eaten. I watched it hatch. I'm proper excited. So now the chicken's in. Now all the spices are cooked. All there is left now to do is pop a lid on and sit back and wait. So it's been cooking now for a little over half an hour. I've not added any liquid. All the liquids come from the meat. It's looking perfect. I uh, can't wait to try it. Here we have it. Boon alert cooked with one of our cockerels, dressed with coriander and red chilli. So there it goes. I'm really quite intrigued to taste this cockerel. Mm. That's good. A bit gamier than the shop bought chicken. But I guess it's been alive a lot longer, so it should be. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out.